Welcome to Cooking with Kids. Today we'll be making homemade pop tarts. You will need strawberry jam or other kinds of jam, chocolate chips, cream cheese, fruit such as peaches or strawberries, an egg, an already made crust. Oh, hold on. And also you will need a little bit of milk and powdered sugar if you want to do frosting. Ta-da! Let's get started. Place some parchment paper on the counter and open the bag of one of the already made crust and unroll it onto the parchment paper. This is to keep it from sticking and then you don't have to use flour. If you don't have parchment paper, you can use flour on your countertop and it will keep it from sticking. Just unroll it out. Then you will need something to cut it, which I forgot, so hold on. I'm back. I like to use a pizza cutter, but a knife will work just as well. You're going to want to cut a four by two pieces square. Four by two. And don't worry if it's not straight because I can't cut a straight line to save my life. And this is really good for kids, especially if you have a pizza cutter. Mine are a little bigger than four by two, but that's okay. So this one piece of pastry, our pie crust, will make four Pop-Tarts. All right, so now we've cut it. We're going to get our cream cheese out. And the whipped kind of cream cheese actually works better because it spreads better, it's more airy, and it has less of a strong cheese taste to it. And you'll want to use either a butter knife or some other kind of thing to spread it. Spread it. I like to use a spatula. And you spread a thin layer onto one piece of of the pie crust. These two particular pieces I am going to make into strawberry pop tarts. So my next move is to get the strawberry preserves if you're using a different kind of fruit, you can use a different kind of preserves. And my spatula won't fit, so I'll have to get a spoon. And you just put the preserves on top of the cream cheese. 
and spread it. And you can put as little or as much as you want. It's just kind of make it a little sweet. If you want sweeter, put more. If you want not so sweet, put less. Also remember that you're going to have to close this, so the next thing is to put our fresh fruit. In this case, I'm putting strawberries. So you want to put as many as you think you can close it up with. This is a good part for you kids because you can put a bunch of fruit in there or as much as you think it will hold. Mmm, it's starting to look and smell good like strawberries. All right. Now we're going to close it. Well, oh, hold on. First, we gotta put a little bit of egg around the edges to make sure that the edges will stick together. And to do that, we have to break an egg and whisk it to make an egg wash. Where's my egg? There it is. All right, so we'll crack it. Drop it into the little bowl. And now I'm going to get a whisk out. And you want to whisk it until it's well blended. So that you can brush it on pretty easy. All right, that looks good. Nice and yellow. I need a brush. There we go. So we're going to dip it in and kind of brush it off a little bit. And then we're going to brush around the edges. And this is just to make sure that when we put the pieces together that they stick together. the dough is kind of dry-ish so sometimes when it's dry it doesn't want to stick together now we do the part right across the same way we don't have to be as careful because there's no fruit on it I'm going to speed it up right here. All right, now we're going to put the two pieces together. And we're going to squish them with our fingers. And this is a good part for you kids. Squishing them with your fingers. Make sure you don't go all the way through. You just squish gently.
Go all the way around. You might have some stuff ooze out, but that's okay. Now you're going to move it a little bit and you're going to get a fork. And you're going to go around the edges with your fork to kind of reinforce that edge a little bit. And this is a good part for you kids too. And it's kind of fun. All the way around. I'm going to speed this part up a little bit. There you go. Now you're going to do the same thing with the other one. Oh, and don't forget to poke your holes in the top. You're going to do the same thing with the other one. I'm going to speed this up. You're going to do the same thing for the chocolate ones, except for you don't have to put the preserves in there. You're going to put the cream cheese, a thin layer, and then you're going to put the chocolate chips and then you're gonna seal it. I got a little bit of preserves on here. Let me wipe that off. And I'm gonna speed this up.
and voila, we have our Pop-Tarts. So now I put my our Pop-Tarts on parchment paper and we are going to put them in the oven. So we put them at 375. Make sure that you preheat your oven first. So 375 for 15 minutes. All right, so it's been 15 minutes and they look pretty ready. So let's pull them out. So you can see all the strawberry goodness there. They look delicious. You have to let them wait for five minutes to cool. So it's been five minutes and I've opened them up and this is the chocolate one. Mmm, delicious. And this is the strawberry one. That looks yummy. And you can always put the frosting on top by mixing the milk with the uh, powdered sugar. So thanks for joining me in making these homemade Pop-Tarts. And join me next time. See you.